The H visa category is an opportunity for foreign nationals to come to work in the U.S. on a temporary basis. It's a non-immigrant visa, so there is no intent to stay in the U.S. There are two different categories. There's the H-2A, which is for agricultural workers, and there's the H-2B, which is for non-agricultural workers. The H-2A is not subject to a cap. However, the H-2B visa is subject to a limitation each year. The fiscal year runs from April 1st through March 31st. So, of the 66,000, which is authorized by the Immigration and Nat Naturalization Act, INA, 33,000 are allowed for the first half of the fiscal year, which is April 1st through September 30th. Any unused portion of that visa number can roll over to the next part of the fiscal year. So that would be your second half from October 1st through March 31st. The 33,000 would be authorized to be processed then and any additional visas from the previous part of the fiscal year. So Congress has authorized for the Department of Homeland Security to, to, to process additional visas. And they're also allowed to determine the number of visas which can be additionally processed. So they take a number of factors into evaluation. Currently, the number is 22,000 additional visas may be processed, but only for businesses that would suffer irreparable harm. 16,000 of these visas are allocated to returning H-2B workers. This expedites the process. They've already applied once, it's a lot easier for them to, to do another application and 6,000 of the 22,000 extra visas is reserved for foreign nationals from the Northern Mariana Trench. Any unused portion of this visa can, um, by the date of July can be rolled over to the first category of returning H2B workers. So any unused portion of the 6,000 reserved for the Mariana Trench members can be used by for nationals who are returning workers from any country. So who counts as a returning worker? Since 2017, Congress says returning workers do count towards the cap. Prior to 2017, a returning H2B worker did not apply towards the cap. So things change. Um, who doesn't count would be family members who are eligible to come and uh, because they don't, they're not authorized to work in the United States. So they don't count towards the cap. And anyone exercising portability, moving from one employer to another, would not count towards the cap. So if you're transferring from one employer to the next, during the year you've already been admitted, that would not count towards the cap whenever you apply or petition 